Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to start on the up and running contract. We need to deliver three long logs to the sawmill. We're going to take the P16 out. I considered a few different options. The White Western Star was probably my first choice. But we have it out on the map right now and I don't really want to bring it in and lose having an extra truck out for recovery. So the other option was to take the Kodiak and I know the Kodiak will get the job done, but it's definitely going to struggle in some of the deeper mud spots. And I didn't really feel like making a video about me winching myself across the map. So we'll take P16. It's the brute force option. I think it's going to do good in the mud. It's probably going to struggle on some of the steeper hills because it it's a heavy son of a gun and it struggles to pull itself up the hill. But it's, it's going to do good in the mud and that's kind of the main thing. We have 57 inch tires on it so that'll help. I left the standard special gearbox in the 4 speed. I found out in Alaska that it seems like with the top engine the standard gearbox seems to have a little more torque. So we'll see how it goes. Let's open up the map and plot out our path. So this will be the path we're going to take and we're going to follow the highway up, take the cutoff that goes down the road past where we rescued the loaf, then we'll cut back to the main dirt road back there and follow it all the way to the sawmill. Let's get going. The P16 is a good truck for this job. It's definitely a stable truck with long logs. You can see how wide the axles are compared to the load. That's one thing that's going to benefit quite a bit in this situation. The only thing that I really think might be an issue is just, like I said before, running out of power on some of the steeper hills. But if we have to winch ourselves up, then we will. It's just the way it is. Turnoff is coming up here to the left. This is the road we took with the Kodiak when we rescued the loaf. I think we'll be fairly safe to take the mud with this. I'm gonna pop it down in low just to make sure we don't dig down and lose power. This side hill can be tricky for sure. I like to stay up to the top a little bit. If I need to grab a tree real quick, if I start to tip, then I'm not too far away to do that.
Doesn't seem to be having any issues at all going through this, these spots. So that's a good thing. Sawmill is just up ahead. Okay, we got one delivered. Now the second load, we're going to head back to the service hub in the middle of the map. So let's take our trail that we've taken before with the other trucks that follows the tree line. I'm going to turn off and follow the power line poles in case I need to winch myself up the hill. There's nothing else out there to winch to, so I think this will be a better idea for this truck. I'm already running out of juice. Then this intersection will cut across, take the left road out. We'll swing in here and get refueled and repaired, I guess, before we load up.
There's only one load of long logs here. We could have also went back to the garage and reloaded there and hauled those up, but then we would have had to drive here anyways to sell off the trailer or forfeit the trailer at the sawmill, which I don't typically do. It's very expensive to do that. So we'll get one from here and then after this, we'll run up the road by the factory and get the third load. That way we don't have to take the same trip three times. Kind of keeps it a little more interesting for us. Take three different routes. We'll turn off right before we get to the trees, just like before, with the Royal. We'll go down to the tree line, try to avoid some of these big rocks, if you can. It's not always doable. And then we'll stay close to the tree line going through here. Okay, the last one we'll hit up where we loaded up the bricks in the last episode off the bridge and that'll take us it'll be a back road that'll take us to the factory i'll mark it out for you real quick that's our path let's get going
We don't have a crane this time to help us get lucky. So I'm just gonna go to the right. Avoid that dip. I still can't believe the White Western Star saved itself like that. Now you can go up the hill to the right there. Um, well, I guess it's straight ahead, but to the right of those rocks. On the other side of this mud pit, there's a pretty steep incline that a lot of trucks can't get up because it's muddy and steep. We'll see how this one does. I'll put it in low so I don't dig down too much. Digging a hole right here is pretty bad. There's nothing to winch to up here. It's just barely creeping up there. No, yes. It's almost there. I'm gonna wiggle my front wheels. And then I put it back in auto and that seems to be helping. There it is, okay. <laughs> Had me doubting there for a moment. I thought I was gonna have to back up and go up the hill. But we got it. Sometimes you just gotta wiggle your front wheels with this truck. I'm gonna run up and refuel before I get loaded. We'll make a U-turn at the fuel stop. It's just up here to the left. Got pretty foggy out. Okay, so we've taken both loads of long logs from the service hub area and this one, so now there aren't any other ones on the map, just back at the garage. So if we lose these, we gotta go back to the garage or bring out a crane to load them back up. So we'll take the same path that we took on the way here. We're gonna go to the sawmill right down there. Let's go.
by doing it this way we got to take three different routes and you know different challenges but it really wasn't that difficult with the p16 this truck is made for this so it handled it pretty well this is the only long log contract on drone lands map there will be some more when we get into the other maps that's going to be it for today. Appreciate everybody coming out. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.